As we go through the evening, it's going to stay beautiful. Nice clear skies at 9 o'clock down to 74 degrees. By 11 o'clock, if you have any late night plans, still looking very comfortable. That temperature back down to about 71. So take a look at tomorrow morning. We're going to see temperatures cooling back down into the mid-60s, which is still quite a bit above where we should be for this time of year. Look at the average low, 50 degrees. We're going to make it down to 65 in Orlando again with some patchy fog. 63 from the land, 64 from Sanford down through St. Cloud. We'll hit an overnight low of 65 in the villages, 64 in Leesburg and Claremont, 64 in Orlando. Also expecting 63 along the coastline from Daytona Beach down through Titusville. So a pretty warm start to the day. And once we get into the afternoon, we start to see that sun peeking back out. We're going to really warm things back up again tomorrow afternoon. So here's 7 o'clock in the morning. Again, watching out for that patchy fog. Quite a bit of cloud cover as well to start off the morning. But as we go later on into the afternoon, all that cloud cover is going to burn up. We'll see plenty of sunshine as we go later on into the afternoon. And by 5 o'clock, nice, mostly clear skies. And that's the way we stay as we head into the new year. There's 1230 Saturday morning. Again, 2022, it's looking wonderful. Plenty of clear skies and nice and comfortable as well if you're going to be getting outside. Take a look at Universal Studios forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be beautiful again. A little bit of patchy fog in the morning, then back to 77 by the noon hour, up to 80 degrees as we head towards 5 o'clock. So very comfortable after reaching daytime highs in the mid 80s for most of us. 83 the villages down to Claremont should hit 84 in Kissimmee, 84 in St. Cloud, 83 in Melbourne. So a very warm day overall, and we still have a few more days to get through of near record heat. Here, take a look at those records. 83 Leesburg could tie that record tomorrow, set back in. 2015. Orlando's going to get close about two degrees shy of the record set back in 1924. Daytona Beach and Melbourne not really close to record territory, but we'll keep an eye on it anyways. Take a look at New Year's Eve forecast. Again, comfortable temperatures through the evening hours and even by midnight down to about 69 degrees. Dry, just a few clouds. Not bad at all, but that near record warmth is going to continue through the weekend. And by Saturday up to about 84, close to that record of 87. And Orlando should hit 85 on Sunday, which would be one degree shy of the record of 86 set back uh, as set back in time. You can see uh, Futurecast really showing though we're going to be changing that pattern. Cold front's going to be sweeping through as we go into Sunday night. Here's 8 o'clock rain showers to the north. That's going to continue its way down to the south and on Monday Take a look at Monday. If you like the cooler weather, that's the day for you. Plenty of sunshine high down to 68 after reaching 85 on Sunday. And then by Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, we start to warm things back up. 76 degrees on Wednesday. And then by Thursday, it's still an isolated chance for rain at high, getting close to 80 degrees, 79 for that daytime high.